Hi guys, this is Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, today I will share the Infosys interview experience of Jayesh. So he applied for the role of systems engineer for the package of 3.6 lakh per annum. And guys, Jayesh is from computer science branch and he is passed out in the year 2022. So now let's see what was the questions interviewer asked him. So first interviewer asked him to show his ID proof. So you can use your college ID or any government ID like Aadhaar card or PAN card as ID proof. After that the interviewer asked him to introduce himself. So I have already discussed this question in the previous video but if you didn't watch that video so here again I will tell you how to answer this question. So first thing is never memorize the answer. As this question is asked by the interviewer because he wanted to know about you who you are and what knowledge you have so this should be like a conversation so please don't memorize your introduction so your answer should be in a proper sequence you can give your answer in form of timeline so you can start from your personal introduction like from where you are and you can also tell him about your family and then tell him about your education after that tell him about your projects that you have done in your graduation and then the technical knowledge you have and in last you can share your achievements and your other interest and please remember one thing always tell the truth in your introduction so that if the interviewer ask you something from your introduction part then you can you will be able to answer those questions and one more important thing is don't give a very long answer for this question so your answer should be brief and properly communicated so guys after that the interviewer asked him what is iot and guys in this era of technology you should know what are the trending or new technologies especially if you are an engineer so in answer of this question you can say like sir internet of things refers to the network of physical devices or objects called things these devices are embedded with sensors electronics softwares and so on which enable them to collect the data and share it with the other internet connected devices and systems without human interactions so you can give this brief definition about the iot so after that the next question interviewer asked him was what is the difference between object oriented programming system and procedure oriented programming system so guys i have already created this video so you can check out that video link in the description box So after this the next question was what is cloud computing so guys again this is one of the most trending technologies so in answer of this question you can say like cloud computing means storing and accessing the data and programs on remote servers that are hosted on the internet instead of computer's hard drive or local server and cloud computing is also referred to as a internet based computing and it provides on demand availability of computer system resources and these resources include applications computing storage networking and so on and google drive dropbox aws all these are the example of cloud computing and guys i would suggest you to prepare the definitions of the some of the trending technologies like ai machine learning blockchain cloud computing and so on because it will help you a lot in your interviews so after this question the next question interviewer asked him was what are the constructors so a constructor contains instructions like method but it is called when an instance of the class is created and constructors are used to initialize the state of the object and when the constructor is called memory for the object is allocated in the memory and there are two types of constructor first is default constructor and the second one is parameterized constructor and guys if you want to know more about the constructor in detail then you can also check out this video so the next question interviewer asked him was what is the oops concept so to answer this question you can start by giving a small definition of object oriented programming and then you can specify that six major object oriented programming concept which are object class encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism after that explain this concept with real life example and here real life example are very important 
because when you tell the interviewer about this examples then he became to know that you really know this concept and it's working at that moment you are not like those candidate who just memorize the definitions so this real world example will add more credit in your selection so after that the interviewer asked him two questions based on joints so he asked what is inner joint and what is outer joint so guys in the case of jayesh he only asked about the definition of these joints but they may also ask you some queries based on the joints and guys if you want to know more about the sql joints and the sql query on joints then you can check out my previous videos and the link of these videos is in the description box so after that the next question interviewer asked him was what is primary key and the foreign key so for primary key you can say primary key is a column or a group of column in a table that uniquely identify each row in that table and a table can't have more than one primary key and primary key can't be duplicate and it can have only unique values and for the foreign key you can say foreign keys are the column of the table which is used to point to the primary key of the another table and foreign keys establish a relationship between the tables and it can be null as well as may contain duplicate tuples and in the last the interviewer asked him do you have any question for me so guys don't miss this opportunity because most of the candidates say no i don't have any question but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization so you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization so you can ask like what are the goal the company has for the next year so it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm or you can ask the question related to your job role so you can ask if i selected for the role then what could i do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question so guys that's all about today's video i hope this video will help you in your interview preparation and if any of my video helps you for getting selected then please drop a comment in the comment box it will motivate me a lot to upload more videos so guys please share this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching